Hello and welcome to Sky TV at TCT. I'm Srihari S. Naidu from Westchester Medical Center and joined with me today is Dr. Shami Mahmood. Uh, we are going to be talking about the Corindus robotic system. Uh, as you know, Corindus came out with a first generation Core Path 200 system and recently received FDA clearance for a second generation GRX version. So Dr. Mahmood, please introduce yourself for um, our audience and tell us why did you buy into the Core Path system? Sure. Uh, Welcome uh, to Sky TV. I'm Shami Mahmood from UC San Diego. And my experience with the Core Path or system as well as robotic PCI is about three years old presently. And I initially became interested uh, because I knew this would address one of the major issues in interventional cardiology today, and that is the occupational hazards associated with the profession. And uh, the big innovation with robotic PCI is the remote ability to control guide wires as well as balloons and stents. And so you can do the procedure remotely in a radiation shielded cockpit, don't have to wear lead. And so I was very attracted by that and therefore started doing uh, PCI robotically about three years ago. Yeah, I'll admit it's a very enticing proposition um, to not have to wear the lead. That is the part that I uh, am not happy about as I get older in this field. Um, I have heard about the system that obviously you control the guide wire and the balloon, but obviously when we do PCI, we have to control the guide, and especially as you get to more complex lesions. This is what I'm understanding is the new, new version, the new advance, the new generation. Tell us about that, and do you think in your experience that will be a game changer? Yeah, so we've looked at our own data, and uh, we were seeing that approximately uh, 20% of the cases required some manual man manipulation, and primarily because the guide catheter would get kicked out uh, in cases that were too complex with extreme tortuosity or calcification, as well as when you had to do osteo rights or osteo left main lesions. And so one of the big advantages of the GRX system is now you have active control of the guiding catheter, and so you can use it to support delivering stents in more difficult lesions or more tortuous lesions. And you can also move the guide catheter out of the ostium at the time that you want to deploy osteal stenting for left main or right coronary lesions. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, especially as more and more data about left main stenting becomes available and we're starting to uh, broadly treat those cases, mm -hmm. this will enable us to do left main PCI robotically as well. Yes, I think there's some exciting data from TCT this year about left main PCI, so I think we'll be doing more of those in the future. Tell us a little bit about, do you think left main is a, is a good subset for this population? You know, we published uh, a recent uh, study uh, reporting six cases that we had done uh, with left main PCI robotically, and I think absolutely with the iteration, it'll become even easier. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to, to trying it out at the Great. booth here. Thank you for having me. So thank you for joining us on Sky TV at TCT.